A lot of people have come into my stream over the past few months and asked me, how did you do it, Brett? How did you grow on Twitch? I don't necessarily feel like an expert on this subject, but there are three things I always keep in mind while streaming. This advice might be a little different from other how to grow on Twitch videos you've seen, but I honestly try to follow it as close as I can. But first, if I'm going to give up these secrets, I have to ask you to subscribe. It helps me continue to do what I love. Let's get to it. These three things were not something I came up with. This advice came to me from Eric Harper, founder of the GG Talent Group. He posted a thread on Twitter that outlined these things, and I have taken it to heart ever since. The only three things people want from a streamer are one, to learn, two, to feel, and three, to laugh. That's it. That's all. Some people want them all, but everyone wants at least one of those things when they watch a stream. Everyone who currently watches you, everyone who will ever watch you. If you can't do at least one of those three things well, your stream will not grow. People might find you, but they're not going to stick around. But what do those things mean? The first thing people want is to learn. And usually they want to learn things they can't figure out on their own. The best way to teach is to show. This is why speedrunners and challenge runners tend to pull good numbers. They're doing things the average player can't do. People watch these streams to learn how to do it. The better you are at something, and the fewer people who can do the same thing, the more people will watch you. This is also why top esports players in multiplayer games also pull big numbers. Top Rocket League players, top Apex players, if you're at the top of your game, you will grow. The corollary there is that variety streamers aren't teaching you anything. They jump from game to game and are learning each game as they go, and therefore provide little value to the viewers in terms of teaching them. This is why it's so hard to grow as a variety streamer. But some people do it. How? That's where the second and third parts come in. The audience that watch variety streamers want to either feel things from your content or laugh at your content. Probably both. This means you need to be able to convey the highs and the lows of the game you are playing. Get them to cry with you. Get them to feel elated at your victories. Get your audience as invested in the game as you can. All that while cracking jokes and getting everyone to laugh. The people who are good at both these things are natural entertainers. They can be funny at parties and get a group of people they've never met to hang on every word. Storytellers, empaths, people like that. So that's it. That's what you need. If you can do all three, you'll explode as a content creator. Lean hard into the things you're good at and work on the things you're not. Remember, there's no substitute for hard work. You don't get to be funny, empathic, or a top-level gamer without putting in the time. And simply streaming more while not doing any of these things is not putting in the time correctly. I've left a link to the Twitter thread by Eric Harper in the description. I probably read this thread once a month to remind myself what I need to do. I hope you found this advice helpful or insightful in some way. Now get out there and make some content.